Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Juju's Journey. My name is Juju. Welcome to video number two in my apartment makeover or apartment upgrade video. This is a renter friendly video. So everything that I'm doing, it's either not going to be noticeable once I leave, if I have to leave it, or I can remove it when I move out of this apartment. So today's video is going to be the video, as the title says that, you know, it's gonna be my bathroom upgrade and all the things that I did with my bathroom. Now, I'm gonna try to make this intro as short as it can be because we all know the last one that I did, if you didn't watch it, go ahead, I'll link it above right now. Watch it after this video or I'll link it below as well so that you guys can click on it and watch it. But we know in my last video, the intro was hella long. It's probably like five minutes long because I just felt the need to give y'all a backstory on why I was in the apartment that I was in. But anyways, if you wanna know that, go ahead and watch that video. In this video, the only thing that I need to tell you guys straight out the gate is in the very beginning of this video, there is a lot of photos versus video footage. And the reason for that is because I had no intentions, <laughs> absolutely no intentions of putting this bathroom renovation, upgrade, whatever we're gonna call it on YouTube. I had none, none. Why? I was so embarrassed, y'all. This bathroom embarrassed me when I first got it. I was literally like, ah, ah, ah. insert scary movie sound. Like I was literally like, oh, my god yes you guys are gonna find that i'm exaggerating a little bit once you see the clip but that's neither here nor there it was terrible to my standards however as i said in my other video i was desperate i did halfway through upgrading the bathroom realize it was turning out very very good and that's when i started recording more for you guys to see so unfortunately the very beginning of this is going to be a lot of photos but stick with it it's a good video. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it anyway. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it before I find something else to talk about. This is the bathroom on the day that I viewed the unit. Just like with the kitchen, I wasn't feeling it, but the size was decent and I could work with it. But I knew right away I wanted to change the bulbs. I didn't like the sink. I didn't like the cabinet color. The walls needed a fresh coat of paint, which I asked about and was told the space was recently painted. If you watch the kitchen makeover, we know I hate the floors. I also didn't like the wooden towel bar and robe hook. And I knew I wanted to change the plate covers. After I got the keys, the first thing I tackled was the bathroom sink. I researched between Google and YouTube and was going to use marble contact paper, but then I found the tub and towel refinishing kit from Rust-Oleum, which essentially has your porcelain looking brand new, and I was immediately sold. My only disclaimer, my only disclaimer guys, the fumes are strong. I did mine before I moved in. As you can see, the results are great. It really does look like a new sink top, even though I messed up. I'll show you guys that later. Next, I tackled the floors. I bought plank vinyl flooring peel and stick from Walmart. I staggered the pattern. This is the kitchen because when I started, I had no intention of recording the process, but I basically started the room to do this peel and stick floor in the middle i mean in the in the front and the room is extremely lopsided if you guys look right now you can see it is extremely lopsided so frustrated right now and then the sink when i was trying to take the tape off from doing the tub and tile epoxy i basically accidentally turned on the water so if you look inside the sink you will see that it's a little bit of like puckering from where i try to clean up the water with the napkin this is literally a nightmare according to youtube this was supposed to be one two three I will say, outside of all the cutting and measuring, the process of installing these once you get the hang of it is very easy. As you can see, I did not put a protective layer down, so I am sure I have lots of goop to clean up if I have to remove these when it's time for me to move. I'm still holding out hope that my landlord sees this and lets me leave it before I leave. I used about two and a half boxes in total, which was basically $45 because when I bought it, I believe it was like $15 a box. 
Next, I tackled the small behind mirror and the wall it's on. I removed the mirror and hung my own that I already had. It wasn't much bigger, but I like mine way better. For the wall, I contemplated doing shelving units on it, but ultimately I used contact paper because I definitely feel like it upgraded the bathroom. So for the bathroom wall, I did end up using contact paper. It's a very unique design and I just wanted to come on here and show it to you guys because I don't have any actual footage because I did it with my sister and like I said, at that point I hadn't decided to really record fully or I think I think it wasn't a case of me deciding to record I think it was more so that we completely forgot to record <laughs> well she came over to help me and we kind of just like jumped right into the process so I completely forgot to record it so I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the wallpaper peel and stick that I use it is from Home Depot for this it wasn't something that I bought this was completely free my stepmother had used it in her house and I always thought it was just like so cute and I remember her having like extra so I said to her I was like oh like how much extra did you have turned out she had an entire roll and like a half left over so I was able to just take that and use it in my bathroom so that was free there was no money spent to get this I believe they're either like $34.95 at the Home Depot or $42.95 if I can find it I will go ahead and insert it however she bought it in about like 2018 and I used it in 2021 so I don't know if it is going to be still available but this is what it looks like um uh, this is the pattern because I know on the wall it probably looks very unique so I'm just gonna just gonna show you guys right there and it is literally you literally just like peel it off the wall peel it off the back end and you attach it it's very thick it's very durable and something that i should point out is it is a probably about a year and six months oh lord i just lied it's probably been about a year and three months <laughs> since i've been in this apartment and surprisingly it didn't come off the wall that was my main concern because you know the bathroom there's a lot of moisture i thought it would eventually peel off the wall because of all the moisture from in the bathroom plus my bathroom is an interior bathroom meaning there's no windows and there's only the exhaust fan which half the time i forget get to turn on more than half the time 95 percent of the time i forget to turn on that exhaust that exhaust fan so it gets very like moisturized in that bathroom or is it moist y'all know what i mean so it's been as long as i said it's been and the paper still hasn't peeled off the wall so that is really good i stand by this peeling stick it is sticking to that wall I'm actually at this point i'm a little bit worried <laughs> about taking it down but i don't think it should be a problem because it's just simply peel and stick paper but anyways let's jump right back into the video before i keep talking so this is the bathroom with the wallpaper installed comment below if you agree that the wallpaper upgraded the space next i worked on the cabinets which i wrapped in contact paper as well this was contact paper left over from the kitchen cabinets i also changed out the hardware because the original hardware just wasn't my style so guys, this footage that you're seeing right now is how my bathroom stayed for at least a year. I ended up changing out the shower curtains that you guys see because while they looked good the first time that I put them up, the first time that I washed it, it was not that great. But I knew that I needed to finish the floor because as you can see, part of it had come up and I didn't finish the side by the sink as well as I wanted to change out the towel holder or you know, like your hand towel holder as well as I wanted to add some robe hooks by the shower something to put your towel on while you're in the shower and I needed to paint the wall my sister and my stepmother ended up doing that for me so I did not record it I was chilling <laughs> I just let them do all the work because I had at that point y'all I had put so much work into this damn apartment I, I needed a break after the paint and fixing the portion of the flooring by the toilet that's how my bathroom stayed until probably two months ago I decided to finally finish it out by doing the door painting the door frame and adding in that bar as well as the rope hooks the door was a standard hollow door, but I just am not a fan of this color. This color, uh, it was the same color in the cabinets, in the kitchen, as well as the bath. I just don't like that color. As you can see, I already wrapped the door to my bedroom, but I didn't wrap the bathroom door because I wanted it to be slightly different from the bedroom door. I was inspired by patchwork style doors that I saw on Pinterest. The main thing that I really wanted was the dark brown color. I thought I found the contact paper in Dollar Tree, but when I tried to install, Yep, 
it fell right off the door. So I searched Amazon and I found the distressed wood peeling stick, which I used for the door, it was much easier to apply, stayed on the door. Because the two rolls I ordered weren't exactly the same, I was able to get a slightly patchwork looking door. From here, it was easy work. I painted the door trim because honestly, it needed to be done. <laughs> Recently painted my butt. I used ultra pure white semi-gloss. Side note, I absolutely hate cleaning paint brushes, so I typically stock up from Dollar Tree and just dispose of the brush after using them. Guys, why are rope hooks so expensive or am I just really cheap? It, it may be that I'm just really cheap. I went to Home Depot and Walmart, but I wasn't trying to spend 20 bucks on some rope hooks. So I checked online and I saw that Ikea had some decent looking rope hooks. A pack of two was $4.99. But uh, of course, when you add in all the other random items that I bought at Ikea, I'm not really sure I saved any money. This is the rope hook or towel bar that came with the rental. It was a no for me, like immediately no. The one mistake I made was not shaking the paint in the small paint can. So the wall color is slightly off in the touch up areas, but it's not off enough that if you're not looking for it, you'll notice it. After painting, I did finishing touches. If you guys watched the video of my sister's bedroom makeover, you know I really do not know how to use a screw gun. Um, so all that matters here is the towel bar and the rope hooks were installed. So guys, that was it. Now to refresh your memory on how the bathroom looked when I got it versus how it's looking now. I'm gonna stop talking uh, so you guys can enjoy the after shots.
So guys, that is it. That is all I have for today's video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed my bathroom upgrade. Comment below, let me know what you think about those baskets. Do you think that I should leave it as the open um, or should I find baskets that have like clothes and lids because I just feel like it might look a little bit cleaner if I had lids on those <laughs> on those baskets because I feel like when guests come, they could just like see like literally like everything. So comment below, let me know what you think about that. If you are new here, I hope you consider subscribing. You know, to my little channel, it's growing. I'm hoping that I can hit 1,000 subscribers soon. Pray for me, pray for me. I see a lot of you guys watching these videos, but you're not subscribing. You just might wanna consider it because you know what? I think you guys will enjoy the footage and it's just something, you know, I thought I'd just put it out there to show that, you know, you don't always have to take what you have. You can always improve on it. Some people get like a beautiful base to start with and some people can't afford such a beautiful base. She, her, me, this one. And for those who already have a beautiful base, imagine what you can do. World of possibilities. I am sure there's a lot of YouTubers that can show you how to upgrade your apartment if you already have an upgraded apartment. But anyways, ugh, I'm about to ramble. Thank you for stopping by and watching another one of my videos. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to comment below and let me know what you're thinking. The next video in this series is going to be the living room. Lord have mercy. Okay, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was just like cosmetics in the living room. Well, everything in this apartment was cosmetics. But the bathroom, the living room wasn't really that bad. But it definitely is an improvement. I'm telling you guys, one thing, light bulbs and furniture can make such a difference in a place. It can make such a difference. But anyways, before I ramble again, thank you for stopping by. Bye.